Hello, my fellow Trash Goblins, and welcome back to Dark Souls. We are returning to not that area. We are going to the shortcut down here, so I don't have to worry about the horrible climb that is going down to Blight Town. We're going to do the, um, the nice little walk to Blight Town, making this probably the most um, progress-based episode we've yet to do. I got big boys coming up over here. The big turd boys. That, that's not me making fun of them. If you want to call them Chungo Dungo, you can. Hello. No. Everyone needs to not touch me with shit stain clubs. Thank you. Bye-bye. I always forget that that's how you jump. Welcome to Blight Town, Frame Drop City, everybody. Population, me and this, uh, this pot. And, uh, those three people over there. I don't know what to say. <laughs> but, um, if you have the master key and you can skip, I think that's the only reason I really care about starting with the master key, is skipping the other climb for Blight Town. Ooh, hold on. I just noticed something. It's probably really loud. Um, I have settings from something else on right now. Hold on, I should turn it down. I need to not die. Please stop. Okay, hold on. Setting change, real quick. Strats, the, the good strats, the good things that go down to, uh, this is gonna get really loud for 10 seconds. Actually, no, it won't, because there's no game audio. Haha, <laughs> I win. I am good professional um, content creator person. There we go. I've got to switch the sound settings over after um, recording the last game. <laughs> Hello, can I fall down now? Bye. Oh, bye bye. I am trying to not do that. Also, dog. There are dogs that do the um, that run these little things, which I find is a cute little detail. Which I'm sure every single. Well, there's one that runs that one. Oh, we just fell into the shit. I'm in the shit now. I wish not to be in the shit anymore. Oh, hello. Not desired damage. Hmm. See, the not desired damage is an issue, especially for Quaylog. Oh, I keep saying this, not desire damage. It's, it seems to be a running theme that I am rushing this. I'm not trying to, I promise. Make me human. And then we get invaded when I stand up and I go outside. Uh, okay. Oh, I can get a firekeeper soul here. But I don't know if I care to. I should, shouldn't I? I hate getting that. I hate getting the one that's down here. Mildred. One, two, three. Mildred, come play with me. Is she? No, I think you have to go out. And like, oh, there she is. Oh, yep, there she is. Everyone's favorite. Oh God, that is a no, that is a no thank you. Hello. Get back here, don't you run for me. That's a good amount of damage for her, hello. Ah, <laughs> uh, I kind of feel like I bullied there for a bit. Thank you for the souls. I think I can level up one. Poke. Poke. More health, please. I think we'll go... It will either go up to 25 or we'll go up to 30 health. I don't... I don't usually go past 30, I think, in a playthrough. I don't think I usually finish the game past level 70. The only real time I go higher is if I'm going to be doing PvP. And since the servers are fully offline, I don't think I'll be doing PvP. Get me through this.
Can't really go through this too fast. I should have grabbed the ring. Hello. Don't worry, we'll make it. I somehow have 12 Estus. I do not know how. Oh, bugs. You're not a bunny. That was a horrible joke. I mean, I guess the joke's on me, huh? I'm the one who said it. Now nah, the joke's on all of you for watching this. Okay, I wish to no longer be poisoned, please. Give me the good herb. Oh, I have to use the good herb. I have to use the actual good one. God damn it. Okay, let's. Fingers crossed. I don't take 30 minutes on um, uh, Quaylog. Hmm. <clears throat> mm, -mm. I do always love watching people fight this boss for the first time, just for the cutscene. The cutscene alone is enough to be just like, oh, oh no. Uh, we're not summoning Mildred. I'm going to try to do this with no summons. I usually do, but... By the way, I'm very sorry if you wanted to, sex to see sexy spider abdomen, but um, this is all you get to see right here. Um, see this? This is what peak sexuality looks like and you get denied the rest ah, not bad on damage and she gone poke I'm a poke okay it's a lot less damage than I thought poke oh, good RNG Not horrible. Oi! Don't snipe me. Listen to every one of the... Uh, gotta love that good Dark Souls soundtrack with everyone moaning in your ear. Oh, God. I almost got a little greedy there. Nope. Pokey poke. Oh, I didn't even dodge, but uh, we dodged it anyway. Oh, God. Poke. Poke. Poke the booty. Please don't shake the booty. That is an attack I don't want to deal with. It's funny. I usually really suck at this boss, but... uh. I feel pretty confident right now. You know, first time for everything in this playthrough, right? Poke. Ooh, that's some good poke damage. Ooh, yeah, that's very good poke damage. I, I'll just do heavies from now on. Poke. Poke. What happens when you're getting used to playing a game? Oh, God. Don't talk too soon. Focus. Try not to get distracted. Rude. No. Lots of damage. Oh, please keep doing it. Okay. This is going a lot better than usual. I'm waiting to fuck it up. Not like the best thing to say. Poke. 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 Hey, stop hitting me. You're not supposed to hit me. I'm supposed to hit you. <laughs> Look at that. First try. We haven't done one of those in a while. <laughs> we got Tauros Demon and Asylum Demon and Quaylog first try. Everything else has complete and utterly just wrecked me. So I'll take that win. Ah, oh, damn it. We sat at the bonfire. Should we cheese Mr. Ceaseless Discharge and get some free souls? I think we will. 
if I don't fuck it up. I have screwed up uh, the cheese for ceaseless quite a few times because I'm not that good at it. And the reason we don't fight that boss regularly is because, honestly, it's a really hard boss. So uh, you're going to deal with me doing that because I'm not too skilled at the game. I will admit, I do love that the developers actually put it in there as an actual thing. So it doesn't matter. I already ruined it. We already got to do the full run back. I'm going to level up my health two more times. Wait. Yes, we'll stick at 25 for right now. That's a pretty big bar. That's some pretty big chunk of health right there. I'll be pretty happy with that. You know, as I almost fall to my... Actually, wait, can I just slide down there? Sleed. Look at that. Barely any damage because me, I'm strong. I'm so happy they changed the, um, uh, the way this all looked. Oh, look, everyone's favorite thing to point out is that the centipede demon is right there on the ledge down there. <laughs> I, I don't want to count how many things I've pointed out that every single Dark Souls playthrough I've seen has pointed out. Like, if you look down there, if you see this, if you look over there, actually, you see this, and I'm just like, I'm doing the same damn thing. I guess it is just, like, really cool information to fill the void of and ending silence with. So, yeah, you guys get the tidbits and the facts. The funny thing is you can actually see all the Tauros demons just chilling in the lava over there. Same with the capper demon down there, if you're in the right angle. Oh yeah, this is the part where like bosses become regular enemies and all hell breaks loose. That's a thing. <laughs> so I have fought this boss right literally my first time ever playing this game, I fought this boss regularly because I didn't know about anything. I had to keep him I had to keep myself in there dodging all of his attacks. Because he has so many AoEs, it is just one of the I do not understand what their thought process was behind this actual boss fight. But he looks so sad. He looks so sad. Like, look at that face. My buddy, my guy, are you okay? I'm going to go with no. What's even sadder is I'm about to steal his dead sister's clothes. Now you wait. Rules. Wait for this. So you don't get hit by it and run. Just run. So you need to make it all the way to the beginning to kind of do this cheese strat, which I love, like I said, that they put this in the game. Yeah, this is one of the only bosses that actually has something where it'll just... It's also kind of tragic what you're about to see. <laughs> are you behind me, sir? Yeah, there you are. Come this way. Walk this way. Please walk this way. I did come here one time with a lot of low health, and he still managed to kill me with this part. Hello. Jump. Now, he can't do anything. He is literally hanging. He jumped to try and hit you, and he is hanging off the edge of this cliff. So we gotta, um, we gotta Mufasa him a little bit. However, I'm very weak, so it'll take... Oh, there we go. Long live the king and all that bullshit. Thank you. And that'll open up this area for later. Because <laughs> with him gone, there is no more lava for some reason. I guess it makes sense. Not really. Not to me, it doesn't at least, but... Guess the lava was just continuously spewing out of him. Also, another easy 20k souls. But there we go. More progress in this episode than any of them has had at all. <laughs> Except for the first hour long one, which should have been half that length. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. There we go, though. We've got the good health. We're going to go get the good damage upgrade. And we do need to go buy more Titanite Charge from Andre to get this to a plus five. I think we need three now, right? We need three. We might get to we might get through Sense Funhouse today. Ooh, that's good damage. 
Wait, where's my damage at? Yeah, it goes up by four for two levels. I'll take that. I will so take that. Building up a dex build, I'm over here like, I could just be edgy and grab the scythe. But I have issues with the Great Scythe. I love the Great Scythe. I just have issues with it. And the issue being that its hit detection is kind of dog shit. Wait, let me go. Let me up. <laughs> Lost Eye, it looks so different now that um, the saturation was taken care of. In the remaster, it looks so different. And now we got to do the long walk back. This is going to be the most time-wasting thing we do today. And I do apologize for me not knowing what to say during this and just describing the tiles on the floor being broken, dented, and that there is webs everywhere. Do you see the cocoons? Do you see how, like, destroyed and spiderized this area is? The spiderification is uh, kind of terrifying and something you never want to see in any game. That's that's a new word, spiderification. It's when a spider has done spider things to an area that was spiderless before. That's a thing now. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> and this is why when content creators come up with something super stupid to say and they meme themselves... It is the easiest thing for them to do. Everyone needs to leave me alone. You need to leave me alone. Definitely. Poke. Poke. Oh my god. I got so many things I need to poke and die. Yay, two hits. Will you stop that? Go up. How do I... Stop it. Rude. Anybody else hate bugs? Because I do. Let me go. I think this will be some more souls. I've always been so bad. Ooh, large titan I tried. I actually need those. I've always been really bad with the uh, boss weapons, like making the boss weapons in all the games. I've always just been like, no, I don't, I don't need them. They're not a thing. I'm missing out on some of the best and coolest weapons in the games. The only game I actually did do all the boss weapons for was Dark Souls 3. And I actually used them quite a bit. Okay, now that we are more used to this game, I feel like we'll maybe have more steady progress than um, the lack thereof we've had the last few episodes. Oh, on to the thing we go. This right here is the deadliest part of this entire run. It's getting off of this platform onto there, which is why I wait to be right here. <laughs> A lot of times, if you just jump off the moment you get there, you can fall off pretty easily. And it leads to a very early end to your run. Okay, so the... Are they down? Yeah, they are down there. So I could go get another Firekeeper soul. Since I'm already toxic. I'm already poisoned, it won't really matter. Okay. Okay, here's, here's where we go. Here's where we go. Here's where we go. This is how you do it. You grab this, right? You get toxic to kill the dogs. You hope you kill the dogs. You just grab the item and you let them kill you because you're gonna f Dogs, fire breathing dogs, fire breathing McAssholes. Drink, chug, oh death. And there you go. I hate getting that one so much. And um, we have to run back from Cecil's Discharge. You already see the spiderification again? See, it, it branches all the way out here. There was so much spider in this cave that it branched all the way out into this cavern. That's a lot of web. <laughs> I hope Spider-Man helped. And up the stairs. I remember when I used to watch Let's Plays when I was younger, I would always wonder, it's like, why are they just describing what they're doing? Why are they just saying stupid things and saying, making stupid noises? Because you have to. The only people that get away with not talking are professional gamers who play like Call of Duty, Valorant, or any of those type of games, and speedrunners. 
<laughs> oh, and of course, like, I don't see them too much these days. There used to be, like, no, no commentary walkthroughs. There used to be a lot of those back in the day. Back in, I'm saying back in the day like I'm so old. Freaking YouTube started in, what, 20... Ugh, I don't even remember. YouTube's not super old. I think it's like, what, 10, 15 years old maybe at the most? But I haven't seen any silent walkthroughs be a thing anymore, really. Which is weird. Oh, don't notice me. The one time you don't want to be noticed by uh, anything. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm going to go poke this thing. <laughs> wow, jumping attacks. Uh, I also, I don't think I ever realized how quiet this game is. I usually have like Spotify or something going when I'm like, you're before you die. Thank you. I try to poke in it, no poke. Um, <laughs> but I usually have Spotify going when I'm playing a game like this, and I'm just kind of like chilling, vibing out. But when you play it without um, any of that, you kind of realize, like, damn, it is actually really, like, there's no real music. Kind of makes me feel bad about making fun of Breath of the Wild, but uh, for that exact reason. Because that does stand as one of the reasons I don't really enjoy that game. <laughs> it's that it's so silent. Meanwhile, I'm over here being a completely hypocritical little shit playing a game with absolutely no music except for during boss battles. <laughs> oh. Hypocrisy incarnate. Let it be me. Nope. Ah, yes. The universal Dark soul sign of I don't know where I am. And it seems like I have wasted so much time. Oh god, don't do that. And then you roll off here. It's it's the safest place to get off of there. It is. Don't don't try and just roll off when you see the ledge. Just just roll safely. Do a safety roll. Stop spitting blood at me. I'm not a vampire. I'm not in high school anymore. I don't believe to be a vampire. Uh <laughs> Yes, the days in high school where everyone wanted to be a vampire. I remember that. Yeah. That was like the cringiest thought I ever had. <laughs> when you Sometimes when you look back on your life and you're like, oh, wow, I really did that. Hmm. But we grow up and we learn from our mistakes or it wasn't a mistake at all and it is who we are. And uh, that's just how it is. Everyone's different. Everyone's weird in their own special way. It be. Chungo dungos. Bye bye. Ooh, I should go grab the shield, but now that I'm out, I don't want to die. If I go grab the shield, I will die. I don't mean. I mean, you do need the shield for Gwen to make it super easy. Hmm, we're going to chance it. We're going to hope we can do it. Okay, so there, there's a beautiful, cute little um, undead Durgan over here. Ooh, we'll just go all the way past the... Dr oh, no, that's... That's... That's treading... That's treading very... Very... <laughs> very easy to die there. Okay, hold on. So I want that one closest to him. There's the death. There's the death. There's the death. Okay. So, remember when I said we were actually going to make progress in this episode? Yeah, I fucking lied. <laughs> that is on me. But don't you want to see these beautiful webs again? <laughs> This, this is the point where I'm literally like, I wish I had more free time to actually edit these and edit things out. But as it stands, working and managing a store and being there all the time, making videos is hard enough to even do them as simply as I do. <laughs> 
So I do apologize for the uh, the lack of jump cuts to um, save you guys the pain of my suffering. And we can suffer together. It's okay. We're all in this together, as the song goes. And we can suffer together. And maybe if we both take a little bit of the suffering, it'll be just that much less on each of us. <laughs> What the hell am I talking about? I just want to get out of here. I hate Blight Town so much. Get me out. Get me the hell out. I'm not coming back until I have the Lord Vessel and I can warp out. I don't want to be here anymore. We are going to go make this weapon a plus five. That is the plan. We're going to get into Sen's Funhouse and make this weapon a plus five. That is the goal of this stream. Stream. God. I do want to get back to streaming. Like streaming is really, really fun and something I want to do, but as it stands without a consistent schedule at work, a consistent screaming schedule, screaming schedule, I'm screaming all the time internally, so that's a different schedule. But a consistent streaming schedule is not um, in the books right now for me, and I don't want to start up streaming again just to kind of not do it and only do it, like, whenever I have the free time. I want to actually... Like, do it properly and be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be live these days. Blah, 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 blah. So eventually we will. You know, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is around the corner. And I definitely am going to be playing that game. Um, and it's a good game to play with um, your community, especially when it's like, hey, if anyone wants to join in on hunts, come and play. It's really, really cool. Uh, safety every time you gotta do you gotta get the good safety rolls i've said safety rolls so many damn times because i've climbed up this now three times i got the shield though and the whole reason we do that is because it's just a little bit easier to deal with gwen's attacks and parry him because he does have some uh if they didn't make Gwyn just parryable the way they did, he would be a lot easier. <laughs> He'd be a lot harder, I should say. Because the first time... Again, going back to the first time I played this game, I did not know uh, you could parry him, and I was not good at the game, so I could not parry him. So I had to fight him, like, straight up. That was actually a really good challenge. I didn't understand why everyone said he was the most disappointing end boss um, they've had so far and they memed him all the time I then like I got a little bit better I figured it out I was like oh yeah this kind of shit <laughs> hey bleh. okay look get the club away you missed I didn't even try dodging and you missed he's awake now so I can't go grab my souls and I don't want to die and do this run again We've already wasted so much time, but at least you got that content of me killing two spicy bosses. Get it? Because they're, they're fire bosses, so they're spicy. I told the joke right, right? That's how you do comedy? I don't know. Oh, the stairs. The stairs out of here. Hello, people. New Londo ruins. We'll, we'll be back in here eventually, running into hell. Okay, we're up. Andre, I need I need things from you. Uh, do that one. Again, it's crazy that the part I miss the most about Demon Souls is the fact that it doesn't take me out of this menu when I'm consuming souls. We do have two Firekeeper souls, right? Yeah! Use soul of Quelog. Boom. Thank you. That should be enough for the... Oh, oh yeah, I need to buy through. Ooh, I can probably upgrade my weapon with some large ones, too. <laughs> Progress. You won't be so underleveled in Sen's Funhouse. I mean, it'll still be pretty underleveled, but it won't be as bad. Hello. Upgrade my thing, please. Thank you. Okay, so that's two. Oh, I should just grab the one in New Londo Ruins. I was right there. 
Stop blocking my way, branch and ledge. Great hit detection. Oh, hello. The crusade is here. Leave me alone. And over here, we I rang the bell, right? Yes, I, I skipped the cutscene. I was about to say, please tell me I rang the bell. Please tell me I rang the bell, because I completely forgot. I did not know if I had rung that bell. Did it, did it, did it. Okay, there we go. Andre, I need to upgrade my weapon, please. I need to have a stronger weapon when I go into next area so I don't um, suck. I mean, I'm going to suck regardless. But if I can kill things quickly, it appears like I suck less. And you see, that is the, um, uh, the facade we're trying to put on right now. That, that is the story we're trying to tell, is that I don't suck as much. So, Andre, please upgrade my shit. Oh. Well, you need anything? Yes, I need you to sell me three of these. And reinforce that. And then modify... Back to reinforce. There it is. Ooh. Let's get this to a plus eight already. Happiness right there. Okay. We are way more ahead than I thought we would be. But, sadly, because I died so many times, we were not able to start Sen's Funhouse Adventures. So, we will be starting this in the next episode. I do apologize again. We're taking all this time. I really did not realize how much time you just spend backtracking in this game. It's kind of crazy. You never notice how long something takes until you sit down with the timer and record it. And you're just like, holy shitballs. Anyway, guys. <clears throat> Ugh. Thank you as always so much for being here. I know it is quiet now because I clicked off of the screen. And for some reason, the game doesn't want to play audio. But... As always, guys, again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell if you are so inclined. If you are not, that is completely fine. I hope you enjoyed the content, but if you didn't, that is also fine. This is your opinion. I'm going to go to bed, though, so until next time, everybody, have a good one.